What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the No World Order Podcast IG Live Edition. I'm your co-host, Drew. I'm your other co-host, Zach. And we are coming to you from San Diego, California. It is November 12, 2020. This year has flown by, even with all the craziness going on. Yeah, it goes by really fast at a very slow pace. <laughs> yeah, how that makes sense, I don't know. But I guess that's the uh, the tortoise and the hare, you know? Yeah, we're right in the middle. Right in the middle of it, getting close to the end of the year. And um, now that we're close to the end of the year and we have a projected president-elect, oh um, things have gone a little crazy here in San Diego, huh? Yeah, so, and I feel like we've danced around this and talked about this. They're setting up for who knows what, but we're back when in the purple tier when the purple tier starts on saturday which makes no number one red should be the worst yeah. right why is it purple purple's not like what that's weird um i didn't say that it was based off of anything really other than newsom just saying oh purple tier again for san diego they've been saying that there's been uh another spike over the last couple of weeks and there's been a ton of cases but again i don't give a fuck about <laughs> cases man i know like i don't care about cases let's look at deaths which are still relatively low and um yeah the cases i just don't really care about like you yeah. can make up a case for anything like it doesn't really matter but yeah we are heading into purple tier it is in purple tier but everything goes into effect starting on saturday so Sucks for all the businesses again, man. There are businesses, though, and I don't know what's up with KUSI, but they seem to have, like, a little rebel in them. Really? Or, like, a little, yeah, like, the way they phrase stuff, the way they say stuff, um, and they're, like, interviewing people that were, that are business owners that are not going to comply. They're just straight up saying, like, no, we're done. And they're like, are you going to support these guys that are not following the, you know, closures? Yeah. So, that's cool. It's nice that there's already a lot more people this time going into it, like, nah, not going to happen. We're going to do whatever we want. Um, yeah, that's true right there. Color system to scare the citizens. Uh, 9-11 terror alert programming. That's exactly what we saw I, in, from 9-11, you know? Yeah. Was I, these color tiered? But I thought it was only I, red uh, from 9-11. Was there a purple yeah. tier? I purple is not remember. the fucking scary color. That, yeah. That's the only thing I don't get. I understand they're lying about everything else. Mm -hmm. Why the hell is purple the worst one? Yeah, it doesn't really make sense. So I guess that goes, that means uh, no more eating in restaurants. I think, I think all restaurants have to be outside now. Yeah. I think that's like yeah. the worst tier. But you know what's ridiculous is like, I've been seeing these outside restaurants put up like little tents that are enclosed. <laughs> so it said like, oh, it's, you're fine to um, eat inside as long as the inside is outside oh my god <laughs> i thought that was pretty funny i swear they just sit back and they're like let's see what else we can make them do yeah, make them eat exactly. inside outside inside outside yeah, exactly oh, okay yeah it's pretty ridiculous and then what else what other restrictions i'm sure gyms and all that will be closed down again i have to check on gyms but yeah i don't think they can do anything and then i know as far as schools go this is interesting uh -huh. if a school is open they can stay open but if they haven't opened yet, like, uh, I know Oceanside District just opened, like, at the beginning of November. But for schools that haven't opened yet, they cannot open while in purple tier. Yeah. So that also doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. It's ridiculous. And everybody was freaking out about, in North County, about Vista. And, like, all the teachers were like, oh, my God, we're going to get sick. There's not enough this, not enough that. Like, yeah. What? And then I'm getting news alerts like, Vista, another case in Vista, another case in Vista. Exactly. I know Escondido has been doing it for months. And everything's fine. Really? The only reason they closed down a school was because they didn't have enough substitutes to cover. Mm. It, yeah. So it's smoke and mirrors, it's perception, and it's all BS. Yeah, it is. But I could say, I don't know if it's too early to transition or not. People are getting more on edge. The 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 maskies or the mask wearers. I don't know, I gotta come up with a cool <laughs> yeah. with a cool name for them. Um The Masketeers. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's the winner. The <laughs> masketeers are uh, like hyping themselves up again. So I was well, I have two mask stories, but I'll go I'll, for I it. I'll do the one that I remember first. Um, I was at a local grocer, more of a natural grocer. Uh, Hold on. Yeah, yeah. That is one hundred percent true. Especially if Biden stays projected president, we will. He's already mandating or saying he's going to put us under like a six week lockdown, mandatory. 
and um, I read something like they're gonna borrow people for jobs like it, it was like a really ridiculous thing but <laughs> yeah that was the thing I saw just a little bit ago is that if Biden is there he's gonna mandate masks and then also put on us put us on a mandatory six week lockdown so which will turn into six years yeah his whole presidency probably oh my god mm -hmm. yeah. but uh, if he yeah. remembers he's president he <laughs> might not even remember what he who he is <laughs> yeah but uh get into that mask the musketeers the mask oh, okay <laughs> this was like a special kind of musketeer this was like karen level musketeer <laughs> like there's all sorts of stuff going on it was like the final boss on a video game yeah so this local grocer i love used to always go to had issues stopped going um then came back around because they actually kind of fell into place and they aren't shitty with you with no mask. Mm -hmm. So rad. Okay, cool. So I was there checking out and like, as like my wife is paying for groceries and we're about to leave, someone else is finishing paying for their groceries. This older couple weird that it was an older couple with fucking attitude. Mm -hmm. Um, but she's like, they're like walking out of the store, like headed to leave the store. And she's like looking at me and I'm like, I'm like, this is, like what is this? Man, what is going what on? Is she, like, get the fuck out of here, old lady. You don't have much time left. What are you doing here? Like, why are you wasting it right here? Um, but she starts popping up. She looks like right in my fucking eyes. And she's like, you should be wearing a mask. You're going to spread COVID. She does like this bit. Like, <laughs> you're going to spread COVID everywhere, <laughs> everywhere when you talk. It does this. <laughs> and I'm looking at, oh, the first thing she said was like, you need to be wearing a mask. And I was like, no, thanks. And then, and like, I, I have it in me to fuck with people. But my wife is there to balance me out. And so mm -hmm. she's like, don't say like, quiet. Like, don't say anything. Like, look, look over here. Look Until over here. She look loses it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then it's like, then we're like natural born killers. Then we just all go too far. I love that. That is a side note. That story you guys told me was just too funny when we, she lost it. Oh my God. We, we both have like an extra gear that we try not to use ever. Yeah. But sometimes you just slip into that fucking gear, yeah. man. It yep. Like, it happens. So this chick's yelling at me, and I'm like, don't say anything, don't say anything, don't say anything. Mm -hmm. But, like, I want to tell her all the reasons she's wrong. Yeah, You know exactly. what I mean? Whatever. Um, so she's yelling at me and yelling at me. And, of course, nobody in the store is like, hey, lady, stop fucking yelling. Like, mind your own business. Get the hell out. You, you already paid for You're your groceries. Paid, your business is done. Yeah. Get out of here. So she keeps fucking talking and talking and talking. And, like, I'm just trying to get groceries and go home. Like, you know what I mean? Like wife's there and whatever, whatever. Like we need to be chill. We need to, uh, we need, and like, it, it sucks too. Cause like as a non mask wearer, you have to like carry the burden for every other non mask wearer. Yeah. You have, you can't fucking be crazy. You can't be rude. Cause then they, you know, like they lump us all together. So you have yeah. like, you gotta like demonstrate how to act. It's fucking annoying. There was this one viral video that went out pretty early when all this happened and it happened in San Diego where a non-mask where um was in a starbucks and laying out the facts and then a gofundme was set up and was raised like some thousands of dollars for the barista i was like are you kidding me like that's how backwards everyone's exactly, thinking is right it's now it's crazy so she was yelling at me i'm trying to ignore her um she doesn't stop yet. Like she keeps just fucking saying stupid shit about COVID. Like I give a shit. Yeah. And so the only thing I can think of to make her stop while like not communicating with her verbally uh -huh. is I just start recording her on my phone. Yeah. And she fucking right away, like drop down like two or three octaves. Really? The, oh yeah, absolutely. If you guys ever need to like do some behavior mod on someone yelling at you, just start recording them. <sighs> it pisses them the off. Phone. Whip out the phone, piss them off. Like it'll piss them off more. But they fucking check themselves a little. Yeah. And then the husband who's outside, outside wearing his fucking mask, is like, oh, real manly, real manly. And I'm like, motherfucker, you're letting your wife yell at me. Yeah. If you, you know what I mean? Like, where is your fucking stick of manliness? Because yeah. I'm like, I'm being stronger by not yelling at your dumbass wife. Exactly. Right? Whatever. So I'm recording and they finally fucking go. Then we walk out with our stuff, go to our car, and they fucking follow us in the parking no lot. No way. They, I see them talking to another couple by their car, probably like, oh, fucking mask. Blah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And yeah. I'm like, wait, wait, you're talking to strangers though, right? Isn't that something uh, you shouldn't be doing? Uh -huh. So they get in their car and they fucking circle around and this bitch fucking, they drive past us and she's recording us. Uh. And I'm like, what the fuck good does that do? Yeah, what and does like, that matter? And like, the hood in me is like, take her fucking phone and like, throw it uh. and then slash the tires when they go to look for it. Like, I, you know, like that's that extra gear that you need to keep in control. Yeah. I didn't do it. I didn't, I did nothing. I ignored it. And then she fucking drove away and I was like, Ooh. And then some dude like popped out of the bushes. and was like, Hey, like 
good for you. I mm. like I believe in you. And we had a quick conversation about how Bill Gates sucks and FEMA camps are coming and yeah. all that. Like he knows what's up. Um, so like there are supporters there. We're just kind of in the shadows. Yeah. So I tried popping out of the bushes. Pop, he did. Like he put his cart. <laughs> he didn't even put his food away. His cart was like on the curb and he fucking came back around to like be yeah, there because yeah. he saw the car coming around to do more shit to us that's crazy yeah so band together support each other definitely that's the way and i don't i don't even remember the other mask story but i think that was enough mask story and then it's like everybody just wearing the mask i mean i got this information from you who was from a police officer is the mandate was only supposed the mask mandate that everybody's following was only supposed to be valid for 30 days and everybody who's still wearing and complying is only furthering a misconception yeah the misconception and the prolonged thing of the of wearing a mask so it's like yeah if everybody was just a little bit more educated and actually understood what was going on the police aren't even enforcing this mask rule anymore you know no, what i mean that was yeah. only for the 30 days and then they seem to like ease up on it which makes sense because it isn't a legal lawful order it was only like a suggest is what is technically a mandate because i did see somewhere like it is law but it isn't or like govern like it i don't know i mean then you have to go into legalese and it gets real muddy because then it's like it's a civil code of law is all you know like uh -huh. it, it, i don't i couldn't answer that with any certainty yeah. to where i would like hey go tell everyone else this but the mandate like you said expired after 30 days yeah so everyone is just kind of making shit up as they go yeah and newsom lost in i don't know in court but he lost some case or whatever to where like they said like hey stop abusing your fucking power dude. yeah i read that too so somewhere. that july mandate was even done not done under duress but done a, like in an abuse of power way uh -huh. so that was like barely even valid anyway yeah i just don't understand like if you want to wear a mask wear a mask right yeah you don't need to get on my shit for not wearing one exactly that's it that like i i understand that people are scared or they have health issues that they like want to be masked up for fine just leave me the fuck alone but it better be the proper mask <sighs> that's a whole nother can of worms i'm like uh, you know like what <sighs> I'm not cooking meth. I don't need a fucking mask. I don't, yeah. you know, like I had to clean up rat shit out of my garage one time. I wore a mask for that. Exactly. You know, like that. If you're around some dust and like housework where you're demoing or something, you know, like e e right. wear a mask or painting or something like that. But yeah, let me live my life. Just let me live know? my life. That's it. But yeah, like everybody's just wearing these masks that are single layer that aren't the well they won't do anything right. they don't protect anything and that's the frustrating part is hmm. it has become more of this is where capitalism sucks it's like it became more of a business hmm. for people to make money off of the masks and their art with the masks and all that cool make your money but that is the reason why we're still stuck in this and everybody's just following along with oh that mask is cute it, it goes with this you know and, and like it's just becoming a part of everybody's everyday outfit now. You know what I mean? Yeah, I saw somebody had posted a video and they were at some like park and it said like uh, park attire and it had like a mask on there. And she was saying like, so it's not even like, hey, this, there's a mandate. We all need to wear it. Hey, there's a sickness going around. We need to wear it. It's just being labeled as park attire. That's crazy. Yeah. And like, that's, that's, that's brainwashing. Like that's, oh, it's yeah. subtle brainwashing. But it's brainwashing nonetheless. You know what I mean? And when you're outside and supposed to be getting fresh air and all of that at a park, it says to wear a mask. That doesn't make any right. sense. And then people will like, like, uh, like you've told stories where you get into a place, you're waiting in line, then you get up front, yeah. then they ask you about it. Yeah. At that point, it's what's called the behavior modification, a compliance task. It's basically mm -hmm. do what I say first and then I'll do what you want. Yeah. And like that has nothing to do with health at all yeah it's just power at that point and, and I, know I don't do well with that your guys's story when you guys ended up talking to the cops um you were kind of in that same situation as i was in where i went into a restaurant no mask and there was a line got up to the front they asked if i wanted to wear a mask or if i had a mask and i said no i have health issues and um they're like something i was like and it's and i'm going and i'm taking it to go so and then I just started ordering. I just started ordering my food, and she took it down. Nice. Um, Redirection. Yeah, exactly. And 
then we stepped out as soon as we were done ordering and just waited for the food then and it was like how is that difficult you're behind right. a plexiglass you have a mask on why do you need me to wear a mask it literally yeah. makes no sense but then i know you guys kind of were doing the same thing but they didn't go along with you placing an order they kind of backed you guys out of the store basically yeah, so my wife went in with no mask, tried to order. They shut her down. The manager, William, at The Habit, uh, put him on blast. Mm -hmm. He tried to, like, usher her out and said, like, I'm not... Basically, like, I'm not talking to you. You need to get out. Like, yeah. And uh, I, I, I don't do well with that, especially when it's directed toward my wife. She's pregnant, and she walks out, and she, she just wanted a fucking burger. She's exactly. pregnant, she walks out, and she's like, well, hey, we have to go somewhere else. They wouldn't, food. whatever, whatever. And I fucking, like, my other gear started to kick in. Mm -hmm. And so I grabbed the mandate from her, and I went in there to try and talk to him. He wasn't being receptive. He immediately tried to be like, okay, let's go talk outside. And I'm like, N no. Like, mm -hmm. what? you don't get, like, you're, and no, no. I, I'm in here. I'm I'm running the show now. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're a weak leader, so I'm going to step in. I'm the captain now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And, like, maybe I should calm that down a little bit and sometimes, but sometimes I just can't fucking help it. Whatever. Yeah. So we're talking, and I'm like, hey, man, the mandate says this. Um, I have identified myself as someone with health issues that can't wear it. Like, we're just getting food. You know, like, I'm, we're, we got a table outside, and he was not listening, not paying attention, didn't give a fuck. And then some lady in line, talk about another fucking Karen, she starts yelling at me, like yelling. They're just doing their job, this and this and that, to which That's my answer my answer will always be, so are the Nazis. You yeah, know what I mean? Exactly. Always. And until you come up with a good argument for that, which there is none, like mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. You know, I don't I don't care if someone's just doing their job because that's how fucking bullshit happens. You know yeah. what I mean? That's like lack of checks and balances if someone says they're just doing their job. So she yeah. gets in there and then like and then it becomes a scene. Like it goes from me talking to the manager to her yelling. Yeah. So she's fucking yelling at me and the manager is trying to get me out and I'm standing my fucking ground and my wife's outside and she said she like somebody left like the door open and she hears yelling from inside and so she doesn't know <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she yeah. doesn't know what to do oh so great there yeah. he goes i know i'm <laughs> on my fucking pedestal just so <laughs> what just it, talking just, him down. <laughs> <laughs> i have a mandate in my hand just fucking yelling i wasn't yelling i was i was okay i was i was okay ish um but the door opens oh and then the fucking lady that started yelling at me for no reason she had nothing to do with anything um, she was like, "Do you want me to get the cops? The cops are right out there." Th there was like, like, "Yes." There was like ten cop cars outside doing something else. Yeah, she's like, "Do you want me to get the cops?" And I was like, yeah, "Please, will you get them in there?" Because I know, like, I know the mandate. I know yeah, what's up. And then she, up. she backed off a little bit. Uh, yeah. uh, oh. And I'm like, "Do you think I'm just a fucking idiot in yeah, here?" Exactly. Like, no, I come in here fucking prepared, dude. Exactly. Um, you have to. If you you, wanna... you fucking have to, and you yeah. have to get over all that anxiety, knowing people are gonna fuck with you. Exactly. So. Uh, we all kind of started yelling at each not yelling at each well kind of yelling at each other and then the chick got way too close to my wife who again is pregnant um so then i got in between them because i was not comfortable with that uh and then uh, i don't even remember how it ended I, I won't put my wife on blast too much <laughs> but she kind of shut the other lady down <laughs> verbally oh yeah uh and then it was great and then at that point i think we we decided like okay we may have overstepped a little this obviously isn't going to end up with us getting burgers and fries yeah so we'll just step out so we stepped out and then we went and talked to the cop that was outside who basically said the mandate doesn't exist um we can't enforce you putting a mask on and we can't enforce a business to give you what you what Service. what you want uh -huh. yeah but a fucking restaurant or whatever business can't just kick you out because they want to kick you out yeah you know what i mean it needs to be like like if i had yelled at lady and called her a dumb fucking cunt then I could see how I would be denied service, right? Even though they didn't cite that, I didn't say that, but that would be an example. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But he basically said, like, it, it, the bandit doesn't exist. We can't enforce it. We do, like, there's nothing to enforce either way. We don't, yeah. we as cops can't and won't do anything. And that's where we're at. So the cops aren't going to protect and serve. Okay, I got it. <laughs> that makes sense. Well, I mean, it's OPD, yeah. So. <laughs> no, no offense. Well, a little, a little offense, OPD. I mean, you guys, you got a lot of shit. You know that. Yeah. You know that. Uh, yeah. So that's 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 where I'm at. That's my life.
Yeah. And Although election day was great. I went three different places, including a polling place, and everyone was totally Everything cool. was fine So that. it just depends on the day and the fucking, and who, you know. who was on the reciprocating end, yeah. And what's going on in the news, man. I swear, when it's, like, more fucking tense news, people are more on edge. On edge, yeah. Yeah. That's true. It's wild. And, um... I know you've been sending me a couple of things over the last few days about um, the curriculum. You kind of have to, kind of, you pick, you get to pick and choose, but they're trying to like ha like explain it. So we have a set curriculum that are that the districts purchase from something, right? It's not like the school's making it up. It's this place online that says this is the curriculum and our school is like, okay, cool. We want to use that, mm -hmm. right? Whatever. And I've seen it off and on throughout the years. I do behavior mod with kids with uh, developmental disabilities and special needs, whatever. And so I've seen it throughout the years and it's been pretty good. It's like, oh, this movie's coming out or I don't know, like, oh, it's Halloween, whatever. Like, you know, light stuff. And the kids mm -hmm. are learning how to read and learning sentence structure and syntax and vocabulary words and all that shit. It's great. Um, but lately I've noticed it seems to be becoming just another fucking propaganda machine, like yeah. just another form of media because they have been pitching a lot of, um, false shit. Like one of the stories that they wanted the kids to learn and do activities about was, uh, like COVID and COVID vaccines. Like they were literally counting syringes. Like that's crazy. One. Yeah. One of their fucking words was like scientist. It was like scientist vaccine this. And, and I'm like, Whoa, dude, like. These kids are learning how to say three word sentences. I don't think vaccine needs to be one of them. In a, yeah. Especially in the field of uh, children with disabilities and special needs, because a lot of those families believe that their children's disability is due to a fucking vaccine. vaccine yeah. How are we not being more sensitive to that as a community? Yeah. And if you're like in the special needs or autism community at all, like, y you know, there's things to be sensitive about. Mm -hmm. There is a way to conduct yourself and it's like a, it's very familial, but also like y you don't want to get too crazy. And so lately it's been like Biden is fucking president elect. And I'm like, that's not true. That's not true. And even before that, it was like the two candidates for president are. And I was like, why are we only talking about two, two of them? Yeah. Like it's fucking what do they always call it? Systematic racism. It's like systematic indoctrination. Yeah. You know what I mean? For the fucking two party system. Exactly. It's ridiculous. And, and so like I. I will throw in what I can, even though, like, they're kids. They're not fucking voting, which is mm -hmm. another thing. Like, we don't need to do that much. They're not fucking voting right now. You yeah. know what I mean? It's fine. And then lately, or this week, it was Biden. Biden is president-elect, and um, Pfizer has a new COVID vaccine. They say is 90% effective. 90%. Vaccines are here to make you healthy. But just, like, fucking brainwashing bullshit, dude. No middle of the road. These stories should be middle of the road. We're teaching children how to fucking read. And here they are pumping them full of fucking propaganda. Yeah. I thought that was funny um, how the Pfizer vaccine is 90% effective while the immune system is 99.9% .9 effective, you know? Right. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, it's uh, It has a higher success rate than the actual vaccine is projected to have. And that's just interesting because... Smart. That's brilliant. Yeah. They said, like... Trump has been saying, like, this vaccine was coming before, before the end of the year, like, months ago, you know? He's yeah. been really optimistic about a vaccine, you know? I don't like that about it, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm just pointing out the fact he's been stating this. And then it's just so interesting how, like, a, a week after the election and Joe Biden was project, pro, projected uh, the president... Then Pfizer comes out and says, oh, yeah, we have this vaccine. It should be out within by the end in the next few weeks. And but then I heard that once they have the vaccine, they're going to start giving it to only a handful of people here in the United States and then give it to the globe, to the world and then come back to the United States. So, again, you see the huh. discrepancies between the two presidents. Trump would he was ready to distribute it with the military like that you know what i mean and then here biden is saying like we'll give it to some of you but then we're gonna service the rest of the world and then we'll get back to you so it definitely you can see the globalist mentality and then america <laughs> first mentality you know it's yeah. really interesting that is interesting especially and then, because go ahead. and then like i was listening to some old footage from like you know the first debates and even probably a little bit before that but all of these people 
all the Democrats are saying, oh, yeah, I would not take the vaccine. I would not take Trump's vaccine and all that. And now they're saying, oh, the vaccine's ready. And it's from the same company that Trump was working with, you know? And, it, oh, just, and it doesn't make any sense. And people don't see through that. Yeah. People will be like, I'm not taking Trump's vaccine either. And they're yeah. like, I'll take Biden's. Yeah. Yeah. All of his friends Even are saying that it's, it's the good. Same, same one. fucking thing, dude. Yeah. Smoke and mirrors, man. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And uh, there's this uh, clip going around of um, from the first debate, actually, where Joe Biden says he would not um, claim victory until the full legal process was played out. And he's already claiming victory. He did his victory speech in front of all those Jeeps. <laughs> uh, like all those brand new jeeps just a fucking commercial for jeep seriously that's all it fucking was i know oh my gosh but yeah i just thought that was pretty interesting how he specifically said he wouldn't claim victory until the whole process was finalized and finished and then what did, he's claiming victory well the media claimed him victor and yeah. um that's the problem right there. Yeah. That's a big problem. Even bigger problem, people that fucking believe it. Yeah. Just by reading it on CNN or fucking Instagram. Because, like, we both know, um, and you mentioned it before we started, is the Electoral College doesn't even place their votes until uh, December 14th. Is that what it was? Yes. Yeah. So we're still, like, a month, a month away out. from them even declaring a true president, you know? And plus, there's all these lawsuits going on where Trump is trying to, like, freeze some of these uh, states to not have them uh, cast their electoral votes to get to get it to um to the supreme court where he just appointed amy coney barrett and she's super into the constitution and i just so that's interesting when you look at the bigger picture like trump obviously knew something was going to be going on with this election and that it does feel like he rushed the Amy Coney Barrett situation now, now that you like look back at it, he he was in his full legal right to do so. Yeah. Which is cool. I'm I'm completely fine with it. But now that this is probably going to the Supreme Court, I just think that's really interesting. He set his his woman up in charge, you know? That's thinking steps and steps ahead. Yeah. Why wouldn't you want someone like that leading? I, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like someone that yeah, can exactly. fucking play chess when everyone else is playing checkers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and I, I didn't vote for him. I don't vote two party. He, I, he has a bunch of bad shit. I don't fucking know how to throw that out every time I say his exactly. fucking name. Exactly. But like, if someone's thinking fucking ten steps ahead, like, yeah, you want that person fucking at the helm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because if he thought of that, he may have, or his team, I guess, thought of, or may have, other safety nets in place. Like this, what we have here. I saw it happen, like, I saw this going around a few days after the election, um, don't really know too much about it, but it says, uh, there's some information floating around that President Trump actually set a trap to catch Democrats in the act of trying to steal the election. As the story goes, Trump and his, and the DHS put special watermarks on all the official ballots, knowing that Democrats would print up ballots to submit with fraudulent votes. All he has to do now is reveal the real ballots with the watermark and the Democrats are caught red-handed trying to steal the election. It sounds good, but is it true? That would be fantastic. Um, it says it's hard to actually, it's actually pretty hard to find any information on this as Google Trends tends to bury the results like this. Um, <laughs> the only thing close to mainstream co coverage of this comes from factcheck.org, of course, ridiculous. <laughs> Um, which attributes the story as a QAnon conspiracy theory. Oh, there's the stamp. The yeah. label of conspiracy theory. Yeah. That alone gives it some credibility since that, <laughs> since that that's one of, way the fake news tries to hide the truth. Um, and this says the best version of this I could find comes from um, Don't Know. Which is which I've never heard of, but it doesn't come across as a wacko conspiracy theory. It says former assistant secretary of state Steve... Cheesnick claims Listen. claims that election ballots across America have been watermarked and the Democrats will be caught engaging in a massive election fraud. According to Steve, President Trump assumed Democrat uh, tomfoolery would be needed to prevent him from securing a second term via the 2020 election. 
In order to ensure the election remained fair, President of the United States uh, devised an advanced trap. Hidden trackable watermarks were allegedly put onto ballots so they could be verified if necessary. I so, hope that Trump actually said the word tomfoolery. <laughs> just, I just, it would just make me happy. <laughs> so what do you think about that? I think it's fucking awesome if somebody had the foresight and wherewithal to carry that out. Yeah. But it seems like we have no evidence, right? I know. Right There's now, nothing. Like, of it that. literally like, is. Even a in the lawsuit, thing. yeah. Even in the lawsuits going on, there's nothing about official ballots or watermarked ballots or anything like that. But I, I thought that was interesting. And then how it comes from a former assistant secretary of state. So someone who should be reliable and yeah. you know yeah that's not someone leaking information that's someone who's been in the game telling yeah. you what's up yeah so that i thought that was pretty interesting and uh that just kind of goes to kind of what we we're talking about how if it's true trump was definitely thinking yeah a handful of steps ahead and many months ahead he's been calling that this election was going to be shady and fraudulent from the beginning and the media dude still just won't say that there's any fraud or any any validation to these claims at all which i just think is ridiculous it is i don't understand i mean i know they have like their orders to carry out because they're media they just do what they're told but like nobody in there is thinking outside of the box no one in there is seeing this stuff and thinking hey this is a better story you know what i mean yeah that's it's very Did you interesting happen to see the um the so this is really crazy stuff so there was something we talked about with um james o'keefe with project veritas who mm. got on camera this usps postal worker saying that they were there was something going on that they had to like separate ballots or something there was like this video where this guy was coming forward and talking about the shadiness going on with um the ballots in michigan and um the mainstream comes out and says the guy from that video recanted his statement and it was all false and all of that. But you go back to James O'Keefe, he had another video with the guy saying, I, I didn't recant. Oh I mean, and he doubled God. down on it, dude. So we're straight up seeing like a propaganda war between the mainstream and facts. That's and insane. Yeah, they straight up saying, oh, that guy lied. He, he recanted his statement. But then you go to James O'Keefe and he has a video with the guy and he said that they were like, Dude, it's a trip because he was saying, like, I don't know if there was, like, if the guy who he was interviewing, he got interviewed by the USPS people or something like that. I don't know who he got interviewed by, but they came after him and talked to him, and they tried to use these scare tactics where they were trying to plant a false memory in him. What? They straight up say, we're trying to change your memory of this and like Whoa. i'm not trying to scare you but i'm trying to scare you like they straight up said that shit and then then the mainstream media said this guy recanted his statement and he's like no i didn't wow they're trying to make this guy look crazy they're you know yeah yeah or worst case scenario they change his memory and then he you know goes along with flips the, yeah, yeah holy shit yeah i'm gonna have to check that out yeah that was I a have big not one. heard about that that was a big one it just happened over the last couple of days i know we talked about that about a week ago i think and then um more has come out with it yeah so it's like geez that's why it's really hard to keep up with all this stuff because it's new stuff is happening every couple of hours you know it's it's crazy and still there's people that won't acknowledge anything any yeah. like any wrongdoing any shenanigans nothing yeah what do you think the watermark is? If it exists, what do you think it is? An American flag. Wouldn't that be right? Just a big fucking middle <laughs> finger. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So it's uh, just Trump's smiling face. <laughs> that big fucking shit eating grin. That's funny. Um, did you hear about this? The Dominion voting systems where it kind of like switched. I want to say something like 6,000 votes from Trump to Biden. And they're saying it was human error, but this same voting system has been used in like 29 counties or a handful of different other states and stuff so if it happened in one place that we know they caught it who's to say no they kidding. left the rest unchecked you know what i mean no shit you think they're gonna just like have us vote all over again i don't think that's legal 
No, I don't think that. I, I heard, Neither is all this shit. Exactly. The, but I think I heard something today. Like, oh, what are they gonna do? Just do another election? Is like that can't be done. From my understanding, from what I heard today, is like that can't be done. Don't they make another amendment? <laughs> then we're just. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm not pushing for it. I'm just yeah. like I feel like coming into Corona, like we were still kind of ahead. Like we still kind of knew like what was planned and what was going to happen. And like, I still have some ideas, but I had no longer know like how they all fit together. Yeah. I thought for sure Bluebeam was coming and that shit hasn't come. Yeah. And then I thought for sure Trump was going to win in a landslide. That didn't fucking happen. Or so, did it? Ah, know. okay. Okay. Yeah. Continue. I don't know. Well, I don't know. That's the thing. It's like, do you really think Joe Biden got 5 million more votes than Barack Obama did? <laughs> like, no, the people were behind no. Barack Obama, you know what I mean? And, yeah. like, nobody's questioning those elections or anything like that. So it's like, I don't know. This one is just really interesting because a bunch of things happened this year that made this eligible for them to send out the ballots and then give way to all this potential fraud and stuff like that. So I don't know. I don't, I don't think he got as many votes as he said he did. So, the, and then mm. that would lead to more of a Trump landslide or mm -hmm. Trump winning in a more dominant fashion. But that's what, not what the numbers show right now, which I, is so hard to believe. How did Joe Biden get more votes than Barack Obama? That and, makes no sense. And like I've touched on this <clears throat> a few episodes ago, I think. Um, and not that it's like anything concrete, but I see people with Trump shit everywhere. Yeah. I have not. I see more fucking Mark Le, or in, Mike Levine signs in San Diego. I've not seen Diego, one Biden thing. Exactly. Maybe a few bumper stickers. Maybe. Yeah. But not one sign, not one flag, like nothing yeah and so it's really interesting that he would you say how many more votes than obama like five million oh more my. or something like that people it's cannot crazy. believe that i know it's so ridiculous um but let's get into this dominion voting system uh the same company that reported glitches with the software updates in contested polling locations in georgia is also behind the software glitch that seemingly reversed 5,500 votes in a county in michigan Mm -hmm. Dominion voting system, which claims to work with 1,300 voting jurisdictions. Okay, so it's a lot more, including nine of the 20 largest counties in the nation, produced the software used in Michigan that um, erroneously erroneously gave Democratic candidate Joe Biden a 3,000 vote advantage in Anarum County. After the glitch was fixed, it was discovered that President Donald Trump actually won the county by around 2,500 votes. Oh my ac God! According to uh, WLNS. Uh, so let's read this. An entire Michigan county has flipped back to its historically Republican roots after a manual recount of votes. Interesting. Officials with Anarum County posted updates results showing President Trump won the county with 9,783 votes, making up 56.46% of ballots cast. Joe Biden earned 7,289 votes, or 42.07, 420. Um, the county initially went blue and showed a win for Biden before the error was discovered. Anarum County officials have blamed the county's election software, saying totals counted did not m match tabulator tapes. Uh, <laughs> Six News has learned the Dominion voting system is used Anarum in is used Anarum County. I think they missed an N. Yeah. Used in, right? Or used for, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's, dude, when I read articles sometimes, I'm like, do they have editors? Like, do they have people checking their words? Because sometimes I read a sentence, I'm like, I'm going to read it how it says, but this doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> um, the system is also used in 64 other counties across the state, including Ingham, Jackson, and Shawazi. Bless you. <laughs> locally. Um, so yeah, that's that's really interesting, right? And um, I think that's yeah. kind of the problem and the issue going forward is these recounts need to be done by hand and not these <coughs> not these machines because machines have these errors and these glitches. And we need um, everybody there who's supposed to be there, like poll watchers and stuff from both sides, conservatives and Democrats, need to be 
watching and it seems like a lot of republicans and conservatives were kind of shut out from observing the the whole um counting process yeah who do you get to count those fucking things <laughs> Just like, volunteers. who do you trust? Yeah. I don't trust. I saw fucking people that were like, I solemnly swear to, you know, throw away every Trump, every Trump vote or whatever. Like, poll workers. Mm -hmm. There's yeah, any exactly. sort of vetting process for this? Or exactly. is it just fucking rando people? Yeah. It's rando people. I know the answer. It's just crazy. Um, I thought I thought this was pretty interesting right here. Adding to the intrigue, Dominion voting system has, an, has apparent ties to Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi. A Democrat. <laughs> Bloomberg reported in April of last year that Dominion Voting Systems, which commands more than a third of the voting machine market without having Washington lobbyists, has hired its first a high-powered firm that includes a longtime aide to Speaker Nancy Pelosi. They hired uh, Brownstein, Farber, Haya, and Shrek. Shrek. Oh, <laughs> Shrek. I know that one. <laughs> um, Nadim something. Holy moly, yeah. El Sami. Pelosi, former chief of staff, is one of the lobbyists on the account. Those fucking lobbyists, man. You gotta watch them. That's just really interesting. Because Nancy Pelosi has been very adamant about getting Trump out, so... She has. And she's, what, third in line? Yes. She, it would be Trump, Pence, Speaker and then... The house. And Pelosi. then, yeah, then Pelosi. Good lord. Scary, right? Yeah scary stuff we could be run by a skeleton woman <laughs> um I, I saw this going around i thought this was interesting um the white house press secretary kaylee mccannany sorry um i've been seeing a lot about her lately um she's been going on like different news organizations holding press conferences or whatever and um when she gets to the proof of what she's going to expose and everything, they break away from the broadcast and don't let her present the facts or the information. And then the news will just kind of cut off and uh, move on to the next story, which, um, who's doing this to her? The like news, like mainstream news. Like is Fox, Fox doing it? Yeah. Fox, Fox did yeah. it? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Fox is in some trouble, man. Yeah, that's like the third weird thing that Fox News has done in the last few weeks that yeah. I can re recollect. Yeah. They called Arizona like two hours after the polls were open to be counted, and they called it for Biden, and it's still being counted. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's crazy. It makes no sense. So, yeah, there's... There's something going on with Fox, that's for sure. There's something They're really like going on. They're fully compromised now. Yeah. They were always, like, it's media. They're always somewhat compromised. There was something about, like, Disney buying them out or something. Mm -hmm. So now they're under that umbrella. So it would kind of make sense. Interesting. Yeah. It is interesting. Um, but the House, uh, the White House press secretary late Tuesday announced 234 pages of what she said were sworn affidavits alleging election irregularities in a county in Michigan. Um, she appeared alongside Republican National Committee Chair Ronna McDaniel on Fox News Hannity, where she shared several allegations listed in the affidavit statements made under penalty of perjury from Wayne County. Um, we keep hearing the drum beat of where's the evidence right here sean 234 pages of sworn affidavits these are real people real allegations signed with no not notaries hmm. um they're alleging this in one county wayne county michigan they're saying that there was a batch of ballots where 60 percent had the same signature <laughs> she told host um they're saying that 35 ballots had no voter record but they were counted anyways that 50 ballots were run multiple times through a tabulation machine oh my god yeah i heard something today where there was some somebody specifically saw somebody have 27 ballots that they ran through five different times interesting yeah what like they're not even cheating on like like one manner no right? they're cheating in like the board, dozens of different know? ways yeah that's and it, that's uh, and it's really interesting because the mainstream media is trying to say there's no proof of a uh, widespread voting fraud which is true because it's not widespread it seems to only localized. be it is it's targeted you know it seems to be only happening in these battleground states where 
it would make a difference, you know? Yeah. Where Trump was winning in the early counts, and then all of a sudden, when nobody, the news says they're stopped counting, then all of a sudden it flips within an hour after they shut the news off and say they're going to stop counting for the day, and they'll get back to it in the morning. Wow. And then an hour and a half later, then Biden shows up with 130,000 ballots or something like that. It's crazy. There is some crazy stuff going on. What a fucking coordinated attack against America. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, even if you're, like, completely asleep, 100% pro-Biden, wearing your mask alone inside your house, Mm -hmm. you should be upset that the fucking voting system is being made into a piece of shit. You know what I mean? Like, everyone who lives here should give a fuck a little bit. I don't even like fucking voting for the two party system. I don't like voting in general. Yeah. But this is an institution that we have and for it to be fucking co-opted and wielded against us is unacceptable. Yeah. You know what I mean? It is. Um, let's just continue with this next paragraph. It says, these are one of many allegations in one county and a county, no less where poll watchers were in many cases threatened with, uh, racial harassment. They were pushed out of the way and Democrat challengers were handing out documents, how to distract GOP challengers. She continued, these are real and anyone who cares about transparency and the integrity of the system should want this to pursue to uh the discovery phase which is true even if like nothing comes of it at least there seems to be something going on so let's at least take care of it like let's play out the through the legal process and make sure it's legit you know if biden won it is what it is you know (laughs) but there seems to be some shadiness going on in a handful of different states and uh let's just get to the bottom of it you know if if the democrats feel so strongly like they won then you should have no problem with the recounts and the lawsuits going on because you know you did nothing wrong right but it seems like there's a lot of pushback from anybody wanting a recount or not accepting it's just funny because they're the same party that spent close to four years saying that there was russian collusion and they didn't accept the 2016 election but we should just move on and you know accept joe biden as the president like that even though there's a ton of seemingly evidence to kind of state the contrary you know yeah do as i say not as i do yeah so that's their new motto interesting stuff um so Trump sues Michigan, demands counting be paused until campaign receives access to ballot counting locations, full review of all open ballots. Checks and balances. I don't understand what's wrong with that. Like, that's one of the things that was instituted long ago to make sure our country succeeds. Yeah. Checks and balances. Exactly. Um, quote, as votes in Michigan continue to be counted, the presidential race in the state remains extremely tight as we always knew it would be. Campaign manager Bill Stipen wrote in a statement accompanying the announcement, uh, President Trump's campaign has not been provided with meaningful access to numerous counting locations to observe the opening of ballots and the counting process as guaranteed by Michigan law. So right there, there's in, in Michigan, man, there's a lot of shadiness with Michigan, man. I don't know if you were up to date on any of the Michigan stuff, but it seems like there is a lot happening in Michigan. No, I have not really <laughs> been on my radar, actually. So that's where um, Steven Crowder got uh, exclusive video of that, like, 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning <laughs> ballot dump, and people were bringing in um, suitcases, coolers, oh, wagons. Okay. Of Who knows what Ooh, was wagons. in it? Who, yeah, there was a red wagon. Somebody was dragging it. Who knows what was in it? And the, the strange thing is, like, they were not being checked by security, like what's in the bag. These are only like four to six hour shifts. Okay, I get it, you need a cooler for a snack or something, whatever, maybe. But a suitcase and a wagon and all these other things and not being checked when you're going in, especially during this time and this process, it seems to be really interesting. And that's when the news said they were going to stop counting, and that's when they turned off all the cameras. And then, you know, an hour and a half later, that's when it was all those ballots that were dumped were all for Biden. That's like, the, all of them. That's the part where, like, come on, like, nobody can, uh, can disagree that that's sketchy. So sketchy. Right? 
n- not one vote for anyone else. I, did I post about it? Or did I, I feel like I ranted on this already. But like, not one other fucking vote for even Joe. Joe or fucking No one voted for Trump, Kanye, even Kanye, as a joke. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not one out of what? Joe Rogan, maybe. Yeah. You know? <laughs> no, 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 not one. That's all just Biden. Just Never mind the same Biden. signature. And, yeah. and nothing, <laughs> nothing else down the ticket, just the president. You wow! Know, I, Nobody I've been asked a lot what they were bringing that. in. Nothing. Nobody said yeah. what's in the box. <laughs> <laughs> no one. And then the, another thing is in Michigan. I think it was at that same uh, polling place or the uh, counting facility. The um, yes, they had live streams going in. You know, so you can tune in online and watch the process play out. But. Um, they started putting up like Bristol board and like poster board on the inside of the glass to stop the people from outside watching them. Why do you got something to hide? Yeah, that's not like a fucking voting rule. No, there and then what? they were like not letting people, not letting the Republican observers in. And then there was this one where that's illegal. Yeah, and then there was this one where this lady was counting ballots down in like a break room, and this guy like went up to her, he's like, "What are you doing counting ballots? Don't you have to be up there?" And he like called her, and then like these two ladies like completely froze up and <clears throat> seemed like they got caught you know they're like oh who was that guy that guy told us what was his name again like you know is they were just playing really mm. dumb about the whole situation it's pretty crazy so is it people acting independently all happening to do this similar <clears throat> fucking kind of shenanigans shit or are there handlers telling these people what to do giving yeah. them these ideas it feels like it's coming more from the higher ups. It seems like it's coordinated for sure. I especially agree. when you're shutting out a certain party, giving preferential treatment to someone else to go count ballots from somewhere else, and having ballots come in unchecked and people bringing, you know, luggage unchecked in and stuff. I don't know. It definitely seems like it's more coordinated than just random people taking it upon themselves. But I wouldn't be surprised if there are some people who are taking upon themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah. So then that's where it gets a little shady as well. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff happening in Michigan. It's it's pretty crazy. Fucking Michigan. So yeah. Trump's suing Michigan. Yeah. There's some, some stuff going on in Michigan. There's... <clears throat> Georgia, there's an audit to trigger a hand recount of, president, of the presidential vote. Okay. <laughs> um, Georgia Secretary of State on Wednesday announced an audit of presidential election results that he said would be done with a full hand tally of ballots because the margin is so tight state law requires an audit but leaves it up to the top election official to choose the race Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger said at a news conference that the presidential race makes the most sense um His office has said that there's no evidence of systemic problems with the voting or the count that shows Democrat Joe Biden with the lead of about 14,000 votes over President Donald Trump. Um, Raffensperger, I don't know, said his office wants the process to begin by the end of the week and he expects it to take until November 20th, which is the start the state certification deadline quote it'll be a heavy lift but we will work with the counties to get it done in time for our state certification um we have all worked hard to bring fair and accurate counts to assure that this that the will of the voters is reflected in the final count and that every voter will have confidence in the outcome whether their candidate won or lost exactly and that's kind of all we need is just there seems to be some shadiness going on and at least like let's get let's get down to it and like let's do it by hand which yeah will probably be a big process to undertake but undertaker (laughs) Um, (laughs) but that's what needs to be done and if you know democrats feel like they won then they should have no problem with that you know uh, and like, but I think they're going to gonna find a lot of issues with no signatures, not matching signatures, and things like that. So that's where it probably will get a little dicey. I hope so. What do you I think? Hope so. Oh, yeah. Do you think... 
how do you see if you had to guess right like the next few months up until let's just say january because that's when the new president would be sworn in january 20th yeah so how do you see the next few months going with with what we know now trump's suing some states there's shenanigans going on what do you think i don't know dude i saw something where trump said like is having a scaffolding built in front of the white house and people are suspecting he's bunkering in like he's gonna hunker down and like not leave um so that would be interesting this is kind of what i've said uh for a couple weeks now i think is um biden would be named the winner um and then you know the left will kind of follow with that and then i think it'll get overturned and trump will end up winning like rightfully yeah okay yeah and then then we have a truly divided nation where there'll be two leaders of the country Hmm. and that's kind of where i see it happening because the media is straight up saying biden won even though it's still not done and that process doesn't take place and like we said until december 14th so and then we have all these lawsuits like the media is acting like these lawsuits aren't even happening you know what i mean <laughs> like they're just going on with business like this is not happening even though a handful of states are having these lawsuits filed and stuff and these recounts and all of that but that's kind of what i see happening mm-hmm. is us really being a truly divided nation with two leaders and especially like i said if trump is kind of hungering himself down in the white house i don't know uh, i don't know so you think it's gonna be like uh when cm punk took the title left and then yeah. cena won the title and then there's two people as wwe champion, champion. yeah so we're gonna have like two two presidents, presidents. yeah interesting because that could lead to the dreaded civil war that's exactly. been kind talked of about. talked about for a while now yeah Although I can't for the life of me understand why all the people that would vote for Biden willingly would want to start a war with Trump supporters. Yeah. I, I don't I don't think there's much sense in that. Or yeah. like they obviously have more guns than you, right? That's what it's gonna exactly. come down to. Like, let's be fucking honest. You know what I mean? Yep. That's interesting. Yeah, I have one news app that I need to fucking delete because it's annoying. But everything that comes through as an alert is basically saying like trump is refusing to like quit or give up or accept yeah, he's that he's not lost. conceding yeah i'm like no because he hasn't fucking lost it like this is a big in the air fucking thing exactly are there pictures of what he's doing to the white house i saw a picture somewhere i'd have to find it again um i'm gonna have to check that out there's zero percent chance if he's expecting shit to go down he's gonna stay there uh-huh. Like in the fucking main White House. Even the White House has like underground shit and like a fucking bug out place. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so I'm almost like, is that a sleight of hand? Is he like, hey, like everyone thinks I'm going to be here, but I'm not going to be. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really know. That's, that's kind of my, I've been kind of saying that for the last couple of weeks. That's kind of okay. where my mind has gone with it. What do you think is going to happen? Um, I don't know because it keeps changing. Like you're, like shit keeps getting added, and I'm like, okay, well, like I'm not sure now. Yeah. As of right now, it almost seems like Trump takes stuff to court, sues states, whatever, whatever. We find out he actually had more votes, oh, right? He actually had more votes. He gets the electoral votes, and he remains president for another four years. And then is when all of the people that were rioting a f- fucking few months ago are gonna come back out and be pissed because from their perception having listened to just the media they're gonna say biden won rightfully Mm -hmm. right trump did some fucking back alley shenanigans with the court systems and now he's remaining in office and that's not okay Mm -hmm. completely ignoring the facts that everything has been manipulated with exactly a little bit of a different creative but leading to the same fucking point of a nation divided yeah right it's just gonna be like what's gonna be that Right, I mean, they they want us to fucking fight, right? Oh, yeah. Because then, like, I mean, obviously they're going to, like, to create order and all that stuff, but then they can hide a bunch of fucking, like, COVID shit everywhere. Exactly. Like, oh, there's fucking protests and there's COVID everywhere now, lockdown. Yeah. Fucking, right? Like, they, they, that's have to be, has to be where they're going. Yep. Is a fucking full-on, like, war. They want us in the streets acting fools. Yep. Um, so another place, we'll, we'll wrap it up here in just a minute. Uh, Wisconsin is, I believe, I think I heard that 
there's definitely like some lawsuits going but i think they're doing a recount as well and then pennsylvania is the other hotbed of uh, stuff going down it's michigan and pennsylvania are the two ones kind of being looked at through a fine tooth comb right now and they're in scope because I just, everything I turn on is about either Pennsylvania or Michigan, and um, yeah, it's pretty crazy there for sure. I've actually heard a little bit about um, Pennsylvania stuff. Yeah, well, I've seen a lot, I've seen some stuff going down in Philly that uh, people are uh, protesting and rioting and setting fires and looting and shit. I don't know what that was for exactly. I mean, I'm assuming it's tied in with this stuff, but it kind of seems like that anger is already starting to to like manifest and yeah be used against us again yeah and then i know there's stuff happening in arizona and nevada still as well oh, fucking so nevada. they still counting i think <laughs> slow as motherfuckers to count even though they're the card counters and you know it, <laughs> i didn't think about that it's crazy it doesn't make any sense they took a whole day off to stop counting the day after the election oh my, they're like we're just yeah. gonna take a break here it's not looking good for biden so we need to find some more votes no shit we need to find some more ballots we real need to quick. regroup yeah so that's kind of what's happening that's kind of what's going on throughout it all like i said it's kind of changing every day and even multiple changes throughout the day um I've been keeping my eye on it pretty regularly throughout the the days, but um, it becomes a bit much at times. I yeah, almost since election day, I've kind of stepped back about eighty five percent. Yeah, like I have, I'm sure a bunch of angry uh, direct messages and Instagram that I just haven't even checked. Uh, yeah, and if I do go on Instagram, I go to like the podcast one to see all my friends and have all my anarchist friends remind me that none of it really matters anyway so yeah. that was nice yeah shout out frederick Leedy. you're the best <laughs> uh yeah but i've been i've been missing a lot because i've been avoiding it but i think i'm ready to jump back in yeah yeah so i mean it's hard to pick a state and then just stick with that one because it's hard to keep up with all of them man but i just think it's interesting how there is like 234 pages of sworn affidavits in michigan so that means people are going under oath stating that they saw something shady saw something fraudulent go on and they're willing to risk their reputation and prison time for this you know so these aren't just some random people being coerced into saying something or you know oh yeah i'll sign something because if you do that and it's false you'll get in trouble you know so yeah. we have 234 pages of these people stating that they saw some shady stuff just in michigan alone and um, the media is just kind of putting, the mainstream media is just putting a blackout on it. And it's really interesting. Like I said, they're they're just claiming uh, Biden won and they don't even have any awareness that <laughs> these lawsuits and recounts are going to be taking place, which makes no sense to me. They're trying to prep I can't people. wait. I really do hope Trump wins because that would make the media look fucking stupid. That, you would, know? Be, that would be great. That would be. But then it almost seems like it's too good to be true, you know? I I know, man. So but this shit's unfolding in a unique way. It is. So, like, I, really like I was is. saying, I don't I, I got no idea. Yeah. Like, I have, like, well, I do have an idea, but Who with knows? everything changing so much, yeah, man, we're in uncharted territory. We are off our, like, natural progression line. Yeah. And it's kind of like the wild west i feel like yeah just a on, a, on a day-to-day -day basis it's gonna be different it is get your food get your water yeah start stocking up that is for sure so that was all we had for today anything else you wanted to mention um i can't wait until this shit's done so we can get back to talking about cryptoids and shit <laughs> all the fun stuff all the fun stuff yeah. all that weird shit um kind of wanted to shout out steve woods he had another kid yeah uh it's super cool i've been listening to that dude since he came out here to san diego like i really identified with him he kind of helped me feel comfortable being myself he's kind of a loud mouth with a temper and i get that i identify um but still i still just follows the mainstream news oh! <laughs> that's uh, i mean you know what are you gonna he's do media so are we mm -hmm. <laughs> are we uh he's yeah. mainstream media that's fair on a local level yeah 
That's but fair. yeah, no, shout out to Woods, Ben and Woods, Ben and Paul right now, since Woods is on his paternity leave. I don't know those fools. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know that. Shout out Woodsy. Yeah, for sure. Get a pack of Lucky Strikes. <laughs> I think so. He stopped smoking, I think. And he That's was good. dipping for a while. Oh, and I, I love think dip. he really I, I dipped because and I of think him. He, <laughs> I think he's getting off of that right now too. So That's probably for the best. Yeah, for sure. Um yeah, that's about all I got. Yeah. So send us ideas for shows. If anyone's out there wants to see a specific kind of show. Yeah, well we do have to do that gang stalking thing, man. It tripped me yeah. out because I was driving the other day and I saw one light one headlight behind me. I was like, What the fuck? Yeah. Dude? Was it a red or white car? Oh, I don't know. I didn't pay attention to that. We have to it get. It has to um, be a specific color car. Is that what? I don't it think is? it has to be. But I've been. I okay. I read a lot of. Um, gosh, I forgot his name. Uh, plant the plants are surviving. Yeah. or something like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, I read a lot of his shit, and he says uh, white and red cars are utilized a lot, and he like has some videos of one headlight, white just and tons. red car. Yeah, tons. Yeah. So I'm. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on that man. Yeah, I just thought that was interesting. I was like, oh probably a coincidence but hey i've been seeing some stuff about this i no thought that kidding. was pretty interesting it's basically a car doing this <laughs> yeah that's exactly <laughs> what it is that's exactly what it is <sighs> oh that's so stay funny. safe buy food buy water yeah buy bullets <laughs> yeah be free be free yep all right that is gonna do it and we should be back next week hopefully we'll yeah. see yep. and um yeah until next time everybody peace